Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to uh, Selenix Crypto and to this new video in which we're covering Primal um, which, uh, well, if you're watching this video you know what Primal is but it's a, it's, it's a relatively small crypto I covered it uh, I covered it on this channel before I, I did a, a project review um, which, uh, well, most of you probably know that and if you don't, well, go check it out if you, if you want to know what Primal is um, but yeah, so Primal is, is a relatively low market cap coin it's move to earn, but it's way more than that. It's it's like an, an ecosystem uh, of athletes and their fans, also sporters, of course. And that's way more. But check out that video if you want to know. I'm I'm making this video right now because Primal is doing amazing. Uh, we have reached all time highs around 1.57 cents, and I think we can get even higher. Uh, so that's why I wanted to cover it. There's one thing though. Uh, there are multiple things we need to talk about before we dive into the technicals. And the first thing is uh, that there, here you can see there was a tweet de December 19th about the primal mainnet date uh, to be revealed uh, and that would be February the 10th. Um, well, it's uh, February the 10th tomorrow and we have not heard anything about that recently. Uh, what we have heard though, I mean, there's obviously bullish momentum first of all from the announcement right here. Uh, so that's already bullish. But apart from that, there we have not heard news about the um, about the mainnet launch, even though this might be about it. That there is something going on, but they don't name it the the, the mainnet. There, are, Primal's doing great, all right. There are a lot of updates, um, including which which is one hundred percent bullish for Primal, the token, a staking pool with fifty five percent APR, uh, which is absolutely crazy. So if you have Primal, I would definitely recommend you to go over to KuCoin. There's a link. To sign up with Google going down in the description as well, then you can get some uh, some um, discount on transaction costs. Obviously, you don't have to use that, but still, you could. Um, so altogether, great development, great news. There's a little bit of great news to be announced and to come in the future. And uh, and usually, if you have staking campaigns like this, they're bullish for the price as well. Uh, so altogether, fundamentally, Primo is doing amazing, and that's also reflected in the price. It's very well reflected in the price. You can see that. Um, our main resistance level really for the last well two and a half weeks something like that was between 1.3 and 1.43 cents which we could drag all the way up to 1.5 cents because that's a psychological resistance level but that's not what we what we respected we respected 1.4 um, so I'm going to keep it at that I know that there's a psychological resistance level just above us but we'll have to we'll have to live with it um, so we actually have already broken above um, 1.3 and to be honest, with all this news that is uh, on, on the way, uh, but also with that I really think Primal is, is undervalued right now at a 7 million market cap. You could almost uh, say that this is a, this is a, this is a great buy. Um, but I expect us to at some point be able to break above. I would say breaking above 1.4 is already enough. So that's what we're doing right now. We haven't yet, but that's what we're doing. Um, but you could also, I also think we'll break above 1.5 and I think in the end my next price target, which is between 1.65 and 1.75 uh, will be reached. Frankly, I think we can get even higher than that, but I'll, this is my first price target. I think we'll find some resistance there, um, but, um, but we can definitely get higher. So that's what I'm waiting for and I'm expecting this. It could very well be that 1.5 cents as a resistance is stronger than expected and that will drop down. Even in that, even in that scenario, except for if, <laughs> if if the market crashes tomorrow, even in that scenario, I think we would drop down to 1.3, and that from there we would consolidate, and then eventually still break above 1.5 to get up to that 1.65, 1.75 level. Um, so yes, I'm fairly bullish on Primal. I don't have any Primal, um, so there's no. Uh, this is my objective uh, ob objective opinion. If you want to, if you do have any questions or if you want to discuss that, I'm always open for that in the comments. Uh, but for now, while Primal is bullish like this, this is the end of the video. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, as I said. But for now, take care. Enjoy your day and bye.